The BYU Cougars will host the Oklahoma State Cowboys in a Friday night game in Provo, Utah. This will be the first night game for the Cougars this season, and that could be significant. Did you know that there's a vampire trend for the BYU Cougars? They're 28-3 and three in night games dating back to 2019. Will the trend continue here against the Cowboys? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get the rest of the season college football, only 299 bucks. Still plenty of football to go if you didn't get involved earlier this year. No better time to take advantage. This is available for any of the great handicappers at wagertalk.com. Of course, I recommend this guy right here. Still the number one handicapper at wagertalk since 2022 with top plays. That's 4 and 5% plays. Uh, up over 147 units in 2024 alone with those plays. Also the number one handicapper at Wager Talk with 4 and 5% football plays since 2022. Uh, as always, though, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free picks. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep putting out these videos. Now let's get into it. BYU is a 9.5-point favorite. The total is sitting at 52 and a half. Uh, I got to say, there's not a lot of folks that want to put money on Oklahoma State right now. Cowboys coming off three straight losses, 42 to 20 to Kansas State uh, in Kansas State. Home loss to Utah without Cam Rising, and uh, 38 to 14 at home against West Virginia last week. The Mountaineers ran all over them. Something is wrong with this Oklahoma State team. And, uh, you know, this is a team that brought back the majority of its starters from last season. They won 10 games last year. They went to the Big 12 championship game and lost to Texas. They ended up winning their bowl game against Texas A&M. They bring back Ollie Gordon, who was supposed to be the best running back in the country. Super seniors filling up that offensive line. Uh, Alan Bowman, a quarterback that had plenty of experience. Something stinks. This just isn't the same team we saw last year. And it brings me back to uh, Mike Gundy's press conference prior to their first game of the season. And he said something that stuck with me. He said a message to his players, the time to ask for money is over. It's time to play football. The players need to stop talking about money. Um, that might be the issue here. It might be a matter of NIL, uh, disputes over who's getting what, whether they're getting enough, disgruntled players. And uh, I, I'd sooner blame the players than blame Mike Gundy because uh, Mike Gundy has been doing this for a long time and he's got a pretty good record considering that Texas and Oklahoma got the majority of the five-star recruits. Um, if, it, if there's a problem with this team, I'd say it's in the locker room and not, not going to pin it on the head coach, but I'm not going to put my money on Oklahoma State in a big game against a 6-0 and BYU team that, you know, the time to doubt BYU appears to be over. I mentioned that vampire stat. I don't know what we can actually get out of that. Yes, this is a team that plays well at night. It's a team that plays well at home. There is uh, altitude in Provo. Uh, they do have a fantastic home field advantage. They've scored 40 points per game in their home games this season. Uh, I don't really think there's a lot of value at that swollen number of 9.5. I think I'm going to look at the team total instead. I think BYU is going to get their points, and if if Oklahoma State has any chance to cover, it's going to have to be because it's a high-scoring game. But BYU, team total over 30 and a half. I'll lay the 145 to get that number. Uh, I just don't see Oklahoma State stopping Cougars here. And uh, if you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. If you've got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, you hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.